Meanwhile, Central Florida is doing what it can to help Puerto Ricans seeking refuge after Hurricane Maria. In its 10 days since opening, the Disaster Relief Center at Orlando International Airport has helped more than 4,000 Puerto Ricans. News 6's Nadine Yanis went back to the airport to see how local, state, and federal agencies are coming together to get results. Very hard um, for my mom. As her mom stands next to her in tears, Valeria Velasquez stands in line at OIA's Disaster Relief Center to check in with the Veterans Affairs Office for some help since her dad, who is in the National Guard in Puerto Rico, stayed behind. It's not easy because obviously part of my heart are in Puerto Rico, my dad. In her hands is information about getting a Florida driver's license, the Department of Motor Vehicles, one of many new agencies that have helped expand the center as these lines continue to grow longer. It's huge compared to day one. Um, we're hearing that there's numbers of seven to 800 per day. As FEMA continues to help the Puerto Ricans register for benefits to rebuild back home, the city of Orlando's Hispanic Office for Local Assistance is helping them here. The numbers, I mean, we have sit down in our table with 275 individuals and families, and that is amazing. It's representative Anna Cruz adding, though the state is expecting up to 100,000 Puerto Ricans to move here permanently, she says several are wanting to go back. They don't want to give the driver's license for Puerto Rico, and that means they want to go back. I think that is great. I mean, they're positive that things are going to go back to normal soon, and I'm hoping for that too. At Orlando International Airport, Nadine Yanis, News 6.